Hey, everybody. Welcome back. This is Old Timey Photo Hour with Todd Ronan and Liz Cross. And we're looking at some old daguerreotype photos and just trying to learn about those people's stories because everybody's story is interesting. And I wanted to share that everyone has a journey, even if it's been forgotten. So, hey, Liz, how are you? Oh, this is so much fun. I'm having a great time. <laughs> Thank you. I love the way this lady's dressed. I don't know anything about her, but the photo is probably from around the 1840s. And I wondered if you could bring her in and ask her some questions. Absolutely. And she's ready to talk. She has a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name and what did she used to do in her life as this photo? So something like Belle... I don't know why she's telling me like Bell is what well, they called her Bell. Okay. Hey, Bell. They called her Bell, but she says that's the name the white folk gave to me. So was she in service in her lifetime or was she a free woman? No, she was a slave. Okay. What is she holding here? A fan? And then she's got something else in her left hand. Looks like a, a case. Is that special to her family? That's some sort of like, she's selling me like a tobacco. That's where she kept her tobacco. I got the exact same thing the second I asked. Did you? So I did. Yeah. What can Belle yeah. tell us about her life and her struggles that she wants to share? It was a life of hardship. Now, oh. I feel like her uh, slave owners, I guess that's what you would address them as, put her up to this photo. They loved her. She hated them, but they loved her. She basically raised the children, uh, nannied the children. They had a lot of respect for her. But she she hated it. She loved the kids, though. She did love the children. Can she tell us what state this was in? Uh, this what day was it? It's the early 1800s. Yeah, oh, mid early 1800s. What state? Yeah. Georgia. Down in Georgia. Okay. That, that gives us more indication as what her life was like at that time. What can she tell us about? her struggles what did she learn in that life and what was her life path for that journey well part of the struggle is that her slave owner the the man wanted to have sex with her all the time hmm. and the wife had no idea and she didn't like it She's like, you know, one thing raising the kids and, and cooking and cleaning and being the nanny. And, but it's another thing being expected to have sex with him. And also, you know, she was, she became their property at quite a young age. And the reason he picked her was due to her beauty. Oh, she is very beautiful. She's a very pretty lady. What what decided, what did she decide to why come into that life on the other side? What soul lessons do you develop with such a struggle and such an oppressive life? It really is character building, she's saying, like for the soul. For this particular lifetime, and she's been a slave in quite a few lifetimes, even. Uh, she's telling me like way back when, when, you know, tribes would enslave others and, uh, different countries would enslave each other, you know, um, especially in Africa and the Middle East, mm -hmm. but 
you kind of, you have to know what you don't want to know what you do want. And that's a very important life soul lesson is that I definitely don't ever want this. So I am going to work hard within my soul to make sure that all of my future lifetimes are not set up like this. And that, that oftentimes is what she's telling me that oftentimes is the reason we have so much struggle because, you know, we can hear about the struggle and we can see the struggle, like with homelessness in our day on the street or, you know, uh, racism, oppression, but we don't actually understand it unless we live in the struggle. And it's one thing witnessing the struggle. It's another thing being a victim of that struggle. And in order to work on many future lifetimes, she experienced all of these lifetimes of real hardship and struggle. I mean, even rape in this lifetime. She finally just gave in like, here he is again. He was a drinker. You know, she had her own housing quarters uh, off of the house, you know, away from the house. And he would regularly visit her at night. And what gave her the strength and power to continue? She had no choice. It was do that or die. You know, that they would kill you. There was no accountability for people back then. Having had so many lives in slavery, why does she continue to incarnate into those lives? And what lesson is she trying to learn? Well, you know, this, (laughs) so much for a short video, Ronan. Um, (laughs) So, People have to understand that, you know, we're constantly evolving and we're constantly migrating and the soul actually knows where it will be treated somewhat better or have a better opportunity, even though uh, it doesn't feel like it for many, many, many lifetimes. But we're just a natural, you know, we migrate to different places and it's kind of like, oh, well, okay, uh, maybe I want to have, I want to have a a reincarnation in a different country. But you still have to follow that same soul family, right? Because that's what we do most times is we, you know, our our great grandkids or great, great grandkids, they give birth to us. And here we go again. So it's this natural migration process that we go through. And this was a way for her to come to the States. Now, I feel like her, her actually, it was her grandparents, her grand, yeah, her grandmother that was enslaved to begin with and brought over to the U.S. And then she's like, you know, second born generational slave and in this lifetime, right? So grandmother was captured, then the, you know, grandmother had children and then she, she, you know, was the grandchild, but again, was still in this cycle of, of slavery. Yeah, we are. Well, thank you so much, Liz. And thank you, Belle. It was great chatting with you and uh, let's, let's do one of these again next time. Yeah, this was really interesting, very deep rooted. And, uh, and I think by you saying we are, I think you mean we are enslaved to the reincarnation cycle. If you want to just clarify that for everybody. Yeah, we are all a slave to the reincarnation cycle and we're all connected. We're all interconnected. And I think everyone's story is important. And that's really the goal of me trying to share these old timey photos for folks. Yeah, this was, this was great. Um, I like her, I like her energy and I like her beauty and she's exceptionally intelligent. 
So I really enjoyed this. That that was you can great. see that in her eyes. Yeah. Thanks, Liz. Thank you, Thank Bill. You. Bye, everybody.